I'll put a giant one right here. Okay, so that's going to take 15 minutes. So while that's happening, I'll do the beast class. Hopefully unlock some more stuff. I'm the first one to get here, but I'm the last one to show up. Welcome everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, mm. pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. A brush. Do I have to attach this? I think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. Tater tots? I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Well, they look like oh, giant cats. Couple of Neasle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honeyjeeks. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, stupid thing. Oh, that's that wasn't supposed to happen. What in Merlin's uh, name are you doing? Uh, tus tus peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> that's really not funny. Let's go. I think I made another friend. Where's my Ravenclaw friend, though? Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Sorta of how it's here. Like, um, I attached this brush and the food. I feel like the Room of Requirement spell should work like that. I don't know what happens, like, after I leave this place. <laughs> the really but I think that would have been a better... They know a good egg when they see one. Like, a As do I. ...way to handle those. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, 
There you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? When do I get to tame the Leviathan? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm, an optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the Pretty other have homework. Yes. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Hey, over here. Come on. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. I just met you like five seconds ago. I'm not sure. What's this all about? You'll see. I promise you have nothing to fear. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In you fact, take me straight to the, the forest. First. Really? Well, thank you. Skeptical. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. The weather we're having, do you think? Guess it's not the forbidden Poppy, where forest. Where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Hippogriff. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show Hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Cool. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. I don't like that close to my face. So, 
What did you think of High Wing? Honestly, she was a bit intimidating. She does have a rather stern brow, doesn't she? But look how well you put her at ease. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. Yeah. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Yeah, I could use a fight. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Okay, so some of these are actually side quests. Should I know who this is? The one that was in the room of requirement, that's what I want to do. Oh, this. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breed. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So... Perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Okay, so let me explain what I was trying to say before. So these didn't actually seem like they were part of the list of spells before. The way that the game made it seem, it sort of darkened the other ones and made the brush and the food more prevalent. If there were, let's say, two separate sets of spells, like I could use the top one or like one of the other ones. So like, if I were to come into the room of requirement, I could automatically switch between, no, I can't even do it correctly I could switch between these spells when I come in here for like a sheet and when I leave I won't have to worry about like detaching them or having to worry about them again because how often am I going to use this brush if I'm not using it on like beasts I don't I don't even yeah, 
I can't even use this. So like if I come in contact with a beast, it should give that like secret menu so I can just do the stuff with the beast right here. Maybe I'm thinking too much. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puffskin, and in it'll go. All right. Is it gonna willingly go, or is this like a... It gets sucked in. No, this is gonna have to be a spell that I gotta attach here. So if I run up to it. So like a Ghostbusters type thing. You got one! Is there a way to Yes, there is a way to sneak, but I don't know if I can use that spell. Well, now I got two. Everything's all right now. Am I actually rescuing them? Revelio. I managed to rescue a puffskin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers How capture many? puff schemes and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff scheme. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. I could probably fast travel. But I'm going to use this burn. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Hmm, I've seen these before. But the only problem here is... I actually have to equip the... Well, it's not even a problem. It's, it's very Thank easy to equip a spell. I would just prefer not to. Professor Howell will never believe this. I also want a drink. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. If I get into a fight, I gotta remember to use all of the plants at the same time. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. 
Deke will be waiting for your return. Yeah, I'll just wait. Okay, can't really, can't really duck. Can I? Let me know, sir. I also want a purple one, you know, home. Where is it? No, that's... My bad. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. I mean, I'm ready now. Take me with you. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Am I gonna shrink? No, it's gonna get bigger. Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? What if I wanted Deke that isn't table? Sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. A pocket dimension? Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Okay, how do I let them... Oh, okay. I haven't used RB. That makes sense. Can I only release one at a time? Or there's a maximum limit. <laughs> or is it just story purposes? thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. So what I can do is, can I release the other ones too? Switch out these for now. Can I 
defeat other pets while I'm doing this? I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. So is this something I had to buy? In blue. Gear features one primary offense or defense stat by default. Magical materials can be used with the loom to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat. New beasts can re be rescued at beast dens or unlocked in quests. New trait recipes can be collected in bandit camps. I'm still getting tutorials. I'm, I'm nowhere close to finishing, probably. Um, what am I wearing right now? Oh, it's highlighted. Let's look at this hat. Okay, so I can upgrade gear this way. Add a trait to an item of clothing, upgrade. Well, the thing is, I'm just going to keep getting stronger, so I don't, I don't really want to upgrade anything, though. I'm gonna upgrade something, I might as well upgrade this. Add a trait to an item of clothing. Okay, um... I like scorching. No, I can't do that. Oh, it has to be something. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, so I'm still gonna do scorching. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. <laughs> 